Okay, so I decided to do a little question and answer time. Um, you guys had sent me in your questions, and I am going to answer them. Yes. Okay, question one brought in by Nicole. What is something you have been through that you believe has made you a better person? Okay, wow, that is a loaded question. Um, I think EMS in general has made me a better person. This job is so humbling and it's so eye-opening and everything that you see on a daily basis and the people that you talk with has just, I don't know, has has made me grow and has made me, I feel a better person. And life experiences, when people are just like, oh, certain things are just terrible and you shouldn't, these shouldn't happen and stuff like that. But you know what? Everything that happens in a life, in a lifetime, I believe happens for a reason. So I kind of believe that I'm at where I'm at today because of all the things that has gone on in my life. The good, the bad, and the ugly. I just, I feel like I'm a better person because of it. And I know I kind of jumped around that question a little bit, but <laughs> that's what I got. All right, so the next question has been brought in by Ryan. Who has been the most inspirational person in your life and how? Hmm. I would have to say, um, it's kind of a toss up, but I know I always go back to this one has been my dad. Um, and I know a lot of people say that, but he is just, he's been there through everything and through thick and thin. And even though he could be an ass some days, I, I thank him for that because without him, Teaching me and helping me grow as a human, and goodness, was it hard to get me to grow as a human. He has never let me fail. He's never let me down. And I think that my dad is first and foremost, um, he's at the top of my list. He is, he's yes. Yes, he is. Okay, so next question brought to you by Jonna. Why do you love haunted things so much? Well, let me tell you, Jonna. Um... I have always loved Halloween. I've always loved scary movies. I've always loved haunted things and haunted houses. And I don't know, maybe it started with the adrenaline aspect of being startled or being scared. But yet when it comes to fight or flight, I either fall over or run away very fast. But the point is, I love everything scary. And I don't 100% know why. I, I just, I love blood, guts, and gore. And, and I love just making pictures and I love making videos and I love doing everything that is haunted related. That is just my all time favorite thing. And I don't know that I had a reason for any of that. It just was born that way. I was just born that way. Okay. So next question, uh, brought in by Vicky, what or who made you a crazy person? I got nothing. Okay, next question. Uh, Justin asked, what made you go into EMS? What is something that you like but other people find disgusting if there is any? Okay, so first off, what made me go into EMS is kind of a funny story. I started as a wheelchair driver at the ambulance company that I am with now. Um, I used to be a car washer. I washed some cars, detailed. Um, and then my sister one day was like, hey, hey, uh, this place is hiring wheelchair drivers. You don't need anything. You know, you just got to get your CPR card. And I'm like, dunsies. And they hired me and that's what happened. And then they had a grant that you could go to school to be an EMT. And you had to fill out this paperwork and write an essay. And I did. And I won the grant. And I went to school to be an EMT. And that's where we are nine years later. Yes. And as for something that I like that other people might find disgusting, um, is probably masks. Um, like those creepy, scary masks that look like people's faces are being ripped off or something like that. I love those. I love, again, Halloween related. I, I love blood scenes and crime scenes and those are my favorite. And most people are like, that is disgusting and good for you on Rock on. That's great. All right, next question from Renee. Do you wear underwear? Yes, I do. Do people not? That's awkward. Okay, moving on. Uh, next question from Rachel. Do you have a retirement plan in place and will it carry you through to old age? No. <laughs> All right, next question from Gavin. What is it like as a dispatcher? Um... It, <laughs> it has been fun. Like whenever I was a dispatcher and I did it for five years, 
Um, it was a good time. The, the, the adrenaline aspect sometimes was awesome. The, the, the calls were ridiculous more often than not. It had its perks, but I can tell you a lot that being locked in a dark room in front of a pink computer screen and it's just sitting in a chair all day for like 12 to 16 hours a day is exhausting and it's tiring and it's boring and it's monotonous and I am really glad most days that I'm in the field now because I can tell you that, I, you know what, I'll be cocky for a second. I was good at my job. I was. I just, I, I'm glad I moved on from that. And I'm glad I was pushed in the direction of moving on from that because being a dispatcher, I came home a lot angry. And I can tell you that nobody would have ever known while I was working because if you are smiling on the outside, you're smiling on the inside. And if you're smiling while you're answering the phone, people say that they can hear it over the phone. So that's what I did. And I got through five years of that and I did enjoy it. But boy, did it have its ups and downs of just there was sadness and anger and happiness and hilarity. And it was it was all over the place. All right. Next question uh, from Tiana. What song means the most to you? Um... Happiest Girl in the Whole USA by Donna Fargo. My grandma, my mom's mom, I, I spent a lot of time with growing up. And my parents both worked a lot of hours. And I spent a lot of time at my grandma's house. And she had this song on her jukebox. And everybody in the family knew it. And we even sang it at her funeral. And it was, it was a beautiful moment. And that song, even though... I don't know. It's it means a lot to me because it's wonderful memories and it just it makes me cry even now when I hear it even though I want to sing along and that song I love more than anything. Okay, so last question from Gordon. If you were a car part, what would it be and why? <laughs> I mean, a camshaft sounds pretty cool. I'm a camshaft. I don't know, maybe maybe an engine, maybe an engine because I'm like, yeah, I'm strong and I'm an engine. I got horsepower and probably not. I'd probably be the dipstick. Okay, so those are my little uh, questions and answers section. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you all next time.